a television documentary featuring Durward Allen and his 10-year Isle Royal Wolf and Moose Research Program drew Rolf Peterson to Purdue in 1970. When Peterson completed his Ph.D. in 1974, he never dreamed he would spend the next 40-plus years continuing his mentor's work. The Isle Royal Project, which aimed to study wolves and moose in an isolated island ecosystem, is the longest-running, most widely cited predator-prey study in the world. Peterson's work on the now 60-year investigation has made him one of the world's premier experts on wolf-moose dynamics. He also has collaborated on marquee wolf studies on the Kenai Peninsula in Alaska and Yellowstone National Park, among others. Peterson has received numerous conservation awards over the years, and in 2017, he was named among Discover Magazine's Heroes of Science, alongside fellow wildlife biologists Aldo Leopold and Jane Goodall. A Purdue College of Agriculture Distinguished Alumnus Honoree, in 2012, Peterson has authored more than 158 publications, and his work has been featured in numerous magazines, books, and documentaries. With the help of more than 1,000 citizen scientists, Peterson guided the Wolf Moose Project at Isle Royal to its induction into the Michigan Environmental Hall of Fame in 2014 including 46 years as a professor at Michigan Technological University, Peterson's career as a scientist, ecologist, and educator are certainly worthy of Purdue FNR's 2021 Lifetime Achievement Award. I would definitely like to extend my appreciation and thanks uh, for this Lifetime Achievement Award. I mean, it's completely unexpected and uh, and and very appreciated. Uh, Dave Meach uh, nominated me, and I, I certainly value his uh, his friendship and uh, contributions over the years <clears throat> in research, uh, and and also wolf education worldwide. Uh, the The people at Purdue, the faculty members, and other students have been were critical for me in laying a foundation of of knowledge and involvement uh, right from the start. Uh, in the Department of Forestry and Conservation, Derwood Allen, of course, was was the, my major mentor. Uh, Eric Klinghammer, in the Department of Psychology, was an important uh, member of my research committee. <clears throat> the veterinary school faculty that taught taught me physiology for a year uh, were highly valued. Uh, some of the students that I got to know at Purdue are among my closest colleagues now. So um, I appreciate all the, the help along the way. And um, I didn't have any appreciation for the fact that I was getting into something that uh, would take me the rest of my life to, uh, <laughs> to work through. And I'm still doing much of the same thing now that I was doing as a graduate student at Purdue. So that's, uh, it's amazing how, how fast time flies. Uh, certainly, uh, my family's been a major contributor, uh, and my wife, uh, my wife Candy, is her nickname, Carolyn, uh, was with me when I went to Purdue, and she took uh, a number of uh, what she calls diddly dumb jobs uh, during the, the time when I was at Purdue, so that she could also accompany me to Isle Royal in the summertime. Uh, we raised our our two boys, uh, Jeremy and Trevor. At, at Isle Royal in the field for the summertime. So that's a major part of their, of their early existence. So the, uh, the start that I got at Purdue is, uh, is, in, is weaving through virtually everything I've done since that time. So I appreciate the, uh, the recognition as a Lifetime Achievement Award. And, uh, and I'm, I'm most grateful for the uh, the help along the way from all the Purdue community. Of course, many of the, the, uh, the procedures and traditions in research uh, and at research administration that I learned at Purdue have been critical in the decades since. Uh, the long-term support of uh, National Science Foundation, the National Park Service, and the National Geographic Society have been, have been there off and on for the entire 60-year history 
of the research. And that has enabled me to continue the tradition of involving graduate students and undergraduate students in the research. And, and many of those students have gone on to, to uh, uh, stellar careers in, uh, in wildlife management. So that's, that's been very gratifying. So the, the long-term science uh, uh, activity is funded by, to an important degree by uh, federal and state agencies that invest in the future of wildlife. 